Hi, beautiful people. Today I'm gonna to lead you through some exercises and stretches that will open up your hips, legs, and lower back. Follow along with me, and you can do these exercises every day or whenever you have time. If there's anything that hurts or doesn't feel right, please feel free to modify or do something else until we move on to the next stretch. If you have some blocks, these might come in handy for some of the stretches that we're going to do. So let's get started. We're gonna start with our feet nice and wide. Take our hands to our hips and move our hips around in a big circle. Nice and simple, just to get some movement through the whole body and to start feeling your legs, feeling your core. Go the other direction. Ah, oh, feel free to take some nice deep breaths and start to feel your body. Now do the same thing with your knees more bent and moving more through your pelvis so you can feel your lower back and your hips and your pelvis and your thighs move, working. And go the other direction. Feel everything kind of juicing up in there. And now straighten your legs, take your toes forward, arms out, and take side to side stretches, taking some weight into the bottom arm on your leg so that you can support yourself in this stretch, side to side. Go as deep or not as deep as you'd like. Make it feel real good. Feel the side body opening. A few more of these. And now, let's take the feet in just a little bit, bend the knees, start with the hands on the hips, and just take little twists with the ribs, and then start to reach your arms to the side as if you're going to pick an apple off of a tree, and then maybe even all the way behind you poking somebody behind you, twisting from the waist. Pull the belly in and imagine your spine getting longer as you do this. You start to feel some active twisting for your lower back. You can do the same thing with your arms out to the sides, elbows out, fingers up. Great. Let's bring our feet under our hips, inhale, reach the arms up, and then exhale, draw them down, chin to chest, Roll down into a forward fold. Bend your knees, shake your head out. <sighs> and now take your hands to the floor or to some blocks. Bend and straighten your knees. Lift your heels and straighten. Bend your knees, lift your heels and straighten to a forward fold. Bend your knees. Sometimes your knees might not straighten, that's okay. And now come into a forward fold, bend your knees, pull your belly in, and roll up halfway. Press into your feet. Now your hands are around knee height. Your back is nice and rounded, your belly is in, and you can sway a little bit side to side to get a little diagonal stretch through your back. Pull your belly in to support yourself in this movement. And then roll all the way back up again. <sighs> Inhale here, let's lift the arms up. And then exhale, release everything forward. Forward fold again. Come down now onto your hands and knees. Take some cat cow, inhale, arching your spine. Exhale, rounding your spine. Do this a few times. Feel your shoulder blades moving up and down your back. Feel your pelvis articulating in your spine and legs. And now take your cat cow side to side, looking back at your booty on one side, back at your booty on the other side. And if you want, take it into a circle. I call this disco kitty. It feels real good. This is a good place where you can kind of munch out your face a little bit, stretch your face muscles, or maybe even go meow, meow. Go the other way. Meow. Ah, feels good. Great, tuck your toes, lift your knees, come into downward facing dog, and then walk your feet into your hands. Once again, take your blocks if you need them, bend your knees, come into a squat. You can lift your heels all the way, or you can take your feet a little wider and keep your heels on the floor, stretching into your pelvis this way. You might wanna take your block under your booty here to take a little break and still get a stretch in your hips. From here, we're gonna reach forward, drop our hips back onto the floor, and come into a seated position. Lift the chest up high, and then roll back onto our backs. Roll forward back, forward back. 
round your spine here. Then lay onto your back, bring your knees into your chest, squeeze your legs together, bring your arms straight out to the sides, palms down, squeeze your legs together and just bring your legs up and over to the left and up and over to the right. Just little movements at first. Feel your belly button pulling in and then maybe you wanna go deeper, maybe you don't. For you, it's a matter of how it feels. If it's enough just to go a little bit, stay a little bit. If, it, if you'd rather go deeper into this stretch, feel free to go deeper. Keep squeezing your knees together, heels into your booty, knees up towards the sky. Relax your face, relax your neck. Great, now let's roll forward and back again. Cross your legs and come forward onto all fours again. Feel free to take a little bit more Disco Kitty if that feels good. It always feels good to me. Let's tuck our toes and bring our left leg forward. Yeah. So another place where we might benefit from using blocks, we're gonna do cat cow lunges. So we lunge forward, dropping our hips, and then we lunge back, drawing the left hip back. Come forward, inhale, lift the chest, drop the hips, and then exhale, draw the left hip back. If the front leg doesn't straighten all the way, that's completely fine. We're trying to lengthen the spine here. Forward and back one more time. All the way forward, all the way back. Now drop the back heel down. If you want, you can even take your blocks higher for this one. Front knee can be a little bit bent, and then you can wag your tail side to side. You can arch your chest forward, Come forward a little bit. Move it around a little bit. Move, see where your range of motion is. And you should feel a stretch somewhere in your left hamstring. Come again into a lunge. Lift your back knee off the floor. Lift your chest. Even maybe lift your hands for a moment and then bring everything down. Back knee to the floor, hands down to the floor or to your blocks. This time your front foot can turn out towards the left and your knee can reach out towards the left. And your hands can come in the middle um, inside your left foot. Here's a great place to rock your hips side to side, or maybe even take your hips in a big circle in one direction and a big circle in the other direction. You could do this for a long time if it feels good. Then we're just gonna settle in. I call this lizard lunge or luxurious lizard lunge. You can have your blocks underneath you for support. You can bring your elbows down, let your head hang, and breathe deeply into this stretch. You might be feeling it in the front of your right hip or through the groin and hip of your left leg or maybe even in the hamstring. You might even feel this a little bit in your upper hips and lower back. So you can shift side to side. We'll stay here for a little bit longer. This is the best part. <sighs> if you feel really open in this stretch or if you've been doing it for a nice long time and your right hip is starting to feel more open, you can take um, this stretch a little bit deeper. If you're not ready for that, just stay here. If you're ready, your left arm reaches back, bending your right knee and grabbing for your foot. Yeah, a lot of times when you do this, your hips will drop back like this. Once you have your foot, bring your hips forward again. So we get the stretch over the hip and over the knee. The entire quadricep gets a nice stretch. Ah, staying here, or maybe even coming forward, or maybe lifting up and back. Release that stretch. Ah, press into your hands and bring your left leg back, back to tabletop. Maybe you wanna take a little wag the tail action or a little disco kitty. Hmm. Now we're gonna do the other side. So let's tuck our toes and come to downward facing dog and then step our right leg forward. We can take our blocks on either side of our right foot and we're gonna do cat cow lunges, inhale, Coming forward, exhale, drawing that right hip back. Inhale, coming forward, arching the chest up. Exhale, keep the spine straight, draw the right hip back. Inhale, forward, ah. exhale, back. Ooh. 
Inhale forward, drop the hips down. Exhale back, straighten the spine, reach the right hip back. The right foot, the right knee might still be bent here. That's okay. Now let's drop the left heel down and come into this kind of pyramid pose. And here, find a little movement. So we can wag our tail side to side, or we can feel a little more close to our leg or a little more lifted. You can reach your chest long and round it. Feel some range of motion here. What can, what can you do to make your body start to feel more juicy? Come back into your lunge. The back knee is lifted. You're lifting up through your chest. Belly button pulls in. Maybe even lift your hands for a moment. And then the back knee comes down. Time for luxurious lizard. So let's bring the blocks forward for a moment. Take that right front foot out to the side. Toes out, knee out. Your knee wants to be over your heel. If your foot is back like this, bring your foot forward so your knee is over your heel and your leg can turn out to the side. Here we can take the hips side to side or maybe in some big circles one direction, some big circles the other direction. If you want to use your blocks, that's great. And then we're going to settle in for a luxurious lizard lunge, the best part. Take your blocks if you want. Maybe take your elbows down. Let your chin drop. Make small movements side to side. Take some deep breaths. Feel your hips opening. Feel your legs opening. Move around through your shoulders. Don't let anything get stagnant. It's relaxing, but there's energy moving through the whole body. Use your breath. Use your imagination, listen to my voice, just relax, move your face around, sing a song, anything that can keep you present with the feeling sensation of opening and juicing up your body. If you're ready for the quad stretch, we can do that now. If you're not, stay here. For the quad stretch, take your right arm back, bend your left back knee, grab for your foot. If your hips have come back, draw them forward again. Find a nice opening up stretch or maybe coming forward. What feels good to you today? You're gonna feel a lot of stretch in your back quadricep. We'll hang out here for a few more seconds, no matter where you are. Keep breathing, keep feeling your body. And then we'll release that. Come back into this lizard lunge for one more moment. And then walk that right leg back Come back to all fours again. One more time, just kind of feel your body. Feel it out. Whew. Next, we're gonna take our left leg forward again for Spider-Man lunge. We're gonna have our, our blocks handy for this one. So starting in Luxurious Lizard, we'll tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and turn, our hips lift, and we turn towards the front to come into this spider lunge or spider-man lunge. Our hand, our blocks might be helpful here or maybe our hands to the floor. Your hips might not be as low as mine. I've been doing this for many years, so maybe your hips are a little bit higher. Pull your belly in and then change to the other side, bending the right knee and then over to the left, bending the left knee. Bending into the right knee, walking your hands to one side, bending to the left knee the other side. If you've done this a lot, you can also work on lifting your arms off the floor, maybe even up towards the sky. We'll do this one more time each side. <sighs> and then we're gonna drop our booty back and come into a butterfly stretch. Here's another place where you might wanna use your block. So, if your back is round in this butterfly stretch, you're not gonna get the stretch in the right position in the right place on your body. You're gonna only feel an opening stretch back here that's too much. So take your block under your booty so that your spine can straighten up and you can feel the stretch more in your groin and in your hips, yeah? You might even have to take your booty up a little higher. It's totally fine as long as you're feeling the stretch. Who cares what it looks like? What we're looking for is the feeling sensation. So for me, I don't, use the block because I've been doing this for many years, and so can you. So we're gonna inhale, lift the chest, holding onto our legs, exhale, come forward. We're gonna do this three more times. Inhale, roll up, feel that chest lift, feel your body opening. 
exhale, forward fold. Two more times. Inhale, rolling up. Lengthen your spine. Pull your belly in. Exhale, forward fold. Last time. Inhale, lift it up. Here we go. Take a deep breath. Exhale, forward fold. Stay here for a few breaths. Get juicy in your body. Maybe rock a little bit side to side. We're almost done. Hmm. To finish off, we're gonna do a spinal twist. So there's a couple ways we can do this. We can cross our right leg over our left, bringing our right foot to the ground. Take your left arm up and over, bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee and your right hand to the ground. Lift your spine up and twist. If this doesn't work for you, you can lay onto your back, bring your knees up and over to the left. It's the same idea. It's totally fine to do it this way. Yeah? Wherever you are, change to the other side. So this time you take your left leg over the right, right arm up, elbow to the outside of the left knee, left arm back behind you, lengthen your spine and find a twist. If that doesn't work for you, lay onto your back, knees up and over to the right this time. You can even gaze over to the left. Take some deep breaths wherever you're at. Deep breaths into your belly, into your spine, into your guts, into the juicy body that you've just created just with a little bit of movement and, and intention. Yeah. So thanks for joining me in these stretches. Again, these are things you can do every single day to help your body feel better and better and to help you be expressed in this world. I hope to see you soon at the Monkey House Mexico. Have a wonderful day.